Well, and now to talk more on this, we have been joined by Ambassador Tehmina Janjwa. You're also the former Foreign Secretary of Pakistan. Ms. Janjwa, how can the Muslim world respond to the growing Islamophobia in the West, particularly in Europe? Well, um, the current Islamophobia in, in Europe is obviously uh, the current wave that is there, which has been sparked off by the comments made by President uh, Macron of France, have obviously has their very local domestic reasons for doing so. It is uh, the, the reason why he's tried to generalize a terrorist attack to Sully and to attack Islam is only in, a, in an effort to ensure that he can get some of the right-wing votes on his, his on his own side. And, and refer, reference of the rhetoric about French traditions for free speech is potently and patently nonsense. He is unable to, but it must be clear that President Macron will not be able to succeed with his present propaganda because neither the right-wing will be impressed and, on, and many of his left-wing voters will also let, uh, will sort of lose faith in him. The important thing for, for us is that we have, must have a rational response to what uh, Macron has said. We must condemn terrorism, we must condemn violence, but we must all very rationally project the case of Islam and of, uh, of Muslims. And that's the most important in order to deal with the question of Islamophobia, whether in Europe or elsewhere in the world. Absolutely. And Ms. Janjua, do you feel there is a lack of awareness on parts of those who are propagating Islamophobia? Well, uh, the, the fact is that, yes, there is obviously a lack of, uh, a lack of information on the part of some of the people who are, talking, who are, who are working on these issues of Islamophobia. But the most important thing is that we must remember that any kind of satire that uh, Charlie Hebdo, when it made its, its, uh, its publications with those very um, rejectable uh, cartoons, was basically doing something which it said was satire. It is not satire. That very pub the, the, the publisher of that article, of those cartoons in that time, was later hanged under the Nuremberg tiles for having considered done these uh, derogatory items against the Jews. Hence, we must have a very legal, a very um, strong case that we need to project internationally in order to be able to present to the rest of the world the reality. It is not just a matter of feelings of the Muslims that are hurt, which of course they are hurt, and we, I feel equally hurt about it. But at the end of the day, we must have a very, um, we just have to have a very uh, uh, strong rebuttal, a legal and moral case must be made. Right, and lastly, Ms. Janjua, do you think the United Nations has a role? And if, what role can the United Nations and the international community play in ensuring peaceful coexistence? This question that you raise about what can be done in the United Nations is not new. It has been done in the United Nations, in the Human Rights Council, in what was asked by the Human Rights Commission. There was a resolution that was brought about by the Pakistan delegation called the Defamation of Religions. It was brought about by uh, Pakistan on behalf of the OIC, and we were able to get the support of a large number of members of the of the Commission then and Council later. But what's important is that we need to con and these and these processes continue. These things, these resolutions are continuing to the United in the United Nations. There are several bodies within the United Nations. The fact that. Um, some people are, being, are using the freedom of expression as the reason for the work that is being done by Charlie Hebdo and others is totally unacceptable. And as I said earlier, and this was done in the second, during the period of the Nazis as well, and the result was that the person who perpetrated it was hanged by the Nuremberg trials. Absolutely. Ms. Janjua, foremost Foreign Secretary of Pakistan, thank you very much for talking to Indus News exclusively.